Good morning, folks. Helio Viewer has been spotty to update the last few days, so we're using the slightly less detailed SDO page functionality. Still more than enough. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star, anything but calm. Despite a lack of major flares in CMEs, we saw an uptick in flaring and in CME production flashes and pops on the Earth-facing portion and at the eastern limb. Of the two facing Earth, the first one looks to have produced the better Earth-directed candidate, but both may have sent ejecta our way, should be minor to moderate at worst, however, and we're just down in C-flare range on the X-ray chart. But the sunspots have a Napoleonic thing going on right now, small umbras across the board, but the further back you head in the groups, the more size and magnetic complexity can be found. Especially in the Mega CME Maker from a week ago, we also got a nice looking set of umbras in coming up north, which immediately became the biggest active region on the disk. Here you see its umbral magnetic field loops challenging the northern plasma filament to a slam dunk contest. Coming next to the solar wind, we see the coronal hole stream effect, but remember, this is the second wave impact from the positive set of openings, so the lack of polarity change means magnetic disruptions are minor to moderate. The K and Q indices, however, once again show more disruption than the KP index. Top story, folks. Stereo B is out from behind the sun, and to my shock and amazement, they think they can fix it. You may recall a solar storm took it out just a few months ago. Top weather story on Earth right now is right here. Not only do we have an atmospheric river gliding over the northwest states and southwestern Canada, but a secondary low is building in the south. This is what we mentioned before, folks. Not only is a major temperature swing continuing in the southern states, but the heat energy on the eastern side of the convergence line is going to drop severe weather tonight. Eyes open there. Europe. We mentioned this yesterday and the day before. In comes another round of rainy weather for the flood hit regions in the north. Best of luck there. And down under, that storm line has moved on to New Zealand, but while maintaining its bend back across the Australian lands. Folks, we made a number of predictions about tornadoes, climate, record events, and also recapped some of the most important polar ice news of 2015 in a mini podcast style update of Deeper Look episode 95. Tons of stuff happening on the episode page, including a review, fly on the wall style new content, and some new links. By the way, I've decided that in 2016 we'll be making the Pittsburgh conference videos available at suspiciousobservers.org for members, so again, in 2016, the conference videos will be in the premium content. Not the original plan, but it's going to make a lot of you smile, so it's worth it. And folks, Pittsburgh and Phoenix is going to be it, at least for a while. Link to the conference page is below and at suspiciousobservers.org. For information about student, senior, or multiple ticket discounts, please email me at ben at observatoryproject.com. We've got your wind conditions at the different atmospheric layers and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.